Hello everyone and welcome to the One Man Renegade Productions YouTube channel. I'm your host, Theon Rogrig B, and it's Tuesday, which sometimes means Tops.com's Tuesday. However, this isn't Tops.com Tuesday, it's a Panini America.net Tuesday, which doesn't quite have the same ring, but it's kind of the same thing, and that rhymed, so that's what's happening. Uh, so yeah, I got another package from Panini America.net, used some more rewards points, got some stuff, but then they charge you for shipping, so you have to kind of buy some other stuff to get the free shipping to really make it worth it. Um, we'll get into that. But if you missed any previous uh, PaniniAmerica.net Tuesday or Tops.com Tuesday uh, videos, head up there. There's a little playlist right there. If you're looking for something specific, go head on over to the channel page and search over there or, or just watch all the videos. That's probably the easiest thing to do. And also hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications. I'm over here, give the thumbs up, like this video, hit that share button, share this with everyone you know. Head on down in the comments, tell me uh, how many Panini points you have or what you've gotten with your Panini Rewards points or whatever else you want to talk about. Um, and then check out the links in the description for all my other internet stuff, eBay, Facebook, Instagram, all that good stuff. All right. So yeah, I had some Panini points uh, left over. Um, I got something, the Anthony Mason card, if you remember that video. Um, and these are along the same lines, not quite like that, because that one was bizarre in the fact that, you know, it, it, Anthony Mason's been dead for a long a while now and they just had to autograph some of them pop up made no sense um these ones are a little more personal teams i like and you know i have all these reward points that i got from the anthony davis redemption obviously from his rookie year that was well since expired and they gave me a bunch of points uh but every time i try to get something good that pops they take they sell out they they go in two seconds so it's it's really tough so every once in a while, something will pop up that piques my interest, even though it's probably not all that valuable or whatever. It doesn't match the Anthony Davis autograph I missed out on. Um, but still. And then, you know, of course, you know, the shipping aspect of it, where they charge you a million dollars for shipping, uh, even though it's just one card or whatever. Um, you know, but if you order over $50 worth of stuff, they'll give you free shipping. So it's worth it just to buy something that they have on the website, which a lot of times is actually nothing. So it's kind of tough sometimes, but, you know, they actually had something kind of nice um, that I picked up. So let's get into it and I'll show you what I got. All right. So, yeah, like I said, these cards aren't very valuable, I wouldn't imagine. Um they weren't a ton of points they were you know they weren't like nothing but they were you know weren't a ton of points but they had significant value for my sports allegiance um so we'll uh first show you the uh hold on i don't want to ruin this um okay we'll just hide that for a second first show you what i got in order to get the free shipping which they had the retail boxes of um, of uh, Panini Prism 23, 22, 23 Panini Prism, the retail box. Now I got one of these, which was from Walmart, but not Walmart. I think, I think it was Walmart. Or it might have been Amazon. Either way, it was it was their third party party seller, and the price I paid for this one was right around the same, which is weird, given that this one came one straight from Panini. Meanwhile, if you got them from Walmart, straight from Walmart, or from Target, straight from Walmart, Target, Target uh, if you were lucky enough before they sold out, um, you got them for significantly less. Well, decently less, I should say. The Target ones were actually significantly less. The Walmart ones were somewhat less, but I got it from Walmart, but not Walmart. And then these, this from on Panini's website, which they had actually still up for a while. They didn't sell it as quickly as I would imagine they would. Um, they were about the same price. I mean... As I'm recording this, they might still be available. I don't know. You want to go check if you're looking in for that. Uh, but yeah, Panini Prism 2223 retail box. And now let's get into the goods. The goods. The uh, rewards cards I purchased. I got two of them. They both popped up. They're both along the same lines. Similar, similar you know, players in terms... Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I don't know, not in skill level, but in certain, certainly in terms of uh, relevance to uh, teams I like, the same time period. 
But we got a Richard Seymour Luminance un Illuminated Ink out of 99 autograph sticker autos. So I don't understand why, like wh where this came from. Like why wasn't just in the product? I, I don't really, I don't really understand sometimes the stuff they have. Like if it's redemption stuff that never got redeemed, I quite, I kind of understand that. But if it's something like this, it's on a sticker. Why wasn't it just in the product? Like, I don't know. And then the second item I got, again, another sticker item, so I'm, again, confusing. Um, Mirror si Signatures Ted Johnson from Certified. 2019 Certified, and this is, what year is this? 2020 Illuminance. So, Ted Johnson, Richard Seymour, of course, part of those uh, Patriot teams in the early 2000s. Well, Ted Johnson was in the 90s, but also... Early 2000s along with uh, Richard Seymour. So there we go. A couple Patriots. Um, I want to say they're both in the Patriots Hall of Fame. And Richard Seymour is in the Football Hall of Fame. Ted Johnson is not as far as I can remember. But Richard Seymour, Ted Johnson. Cool stuff. And now I'm going to have to look that up to make sure I'm not making that up. Pretty sure Richard Seymour got in the, Hall of, the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Uh, and I'm pretty sure they're both. I think they're both, I could be wrong about that, in the um, Patriot Hall of Fame. But uh, I could be wrong about that as well. Uh, let's see. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm not seeing anything about Ted Johnson being the Patriot Hall of Fame. So maybe he's not. I know... They're, it's, they're, they do like one per year or something weird like that. So it's like kind of tough for people to get in, but you, but like the Red Sox do a whole bunch every year. So it's like, you know, any guy that like you assume would be in there is in there. So I'm maybe just conflating those two, but yeah, I don't see anything specifically saying that he's in the, um, Patriots Hall of Fame. Now Richard Seymour on the other hand. Uh, not the poker player, not the Irish art author, not the photographer. Oh, wait, no, it is the poker player. They list him as poker player first? Wikipedia, come on, seriously? I was reading it because it was like photographer, it was a whole bunch of Richard Seymour's. Poker player, of course, that's how I know Richard Seymour is a poker player. Um, but let's see, um... Yeah, he, Richard Seymour is in the Patriots Hall of Fame. Also, the Patriots All Dynasty team, the Patriots 50th Anniversary team, the Patriots All 2000s team. Um, let's see, is he? But is he in the actual? Yeah, the Pro Football Hall of Fame. There it is. Okay, just making sure. I don't want to say stuff and be wrong about it. Um, and Ted Johnson was on the All 90s Patriots team, um, but. Um, not the all, not the all two thousand somehow. Even though he was on all three of those Super Bowl teams that Seymour was on, so I don't know. But anyways, yeah, a couple of Patriots autographs. Uh, just you know, they weren't that much points, and like I, like I said, like every time I try to get something bigger with the points, um, I, I always lose out. So I'm like, might as well use them for something kind of cool. So there you go, Ted Johnson, Richard Seymour. Both out of 99. Now, there actually were different versions of these um, that were lower numbered. But I'm like, I don't know that it's worth it to pay the extra points for the cards that I don't know how much in value, inherently value, there would be for like an out of 50 or out of 75 as opposed to out of 99. You know, it's kind of like I, d I don't see these being all that valuable anyways. So it's like with the lower value, lower numbered value be that much more like. I, I don't know but so ultimately i was like i'll save up the points for something else maybe later on down the line if i can but you know might as well if i'm just looking to get their autographs what does it matter i don't know that was my thought process but hey you know i'm it is what it is so that's gonna do it for today for this uh panini america.net tuesday uh, i don't know when the next one of these will be whether it's tops or panini or whatever i don't think i don't think i have any in the pipeline coming um, but you never know. 
So thank you everyone for watching. Stay safe. Uh, come back tomorrow for another video. Come back every day. I got videos posted every day. Sometimes multiple day, like today. If you missed earlier in today, I opened some baseball cards. So go check that out. What year or what product? I don't know at this point. I think 20. 14 maybe i'm not i'm not 100 sure record these out all order out of order so i have no idea um when these go up or what's going up when i, I should probably be better about it um but if i had to guess it'd be 2014 of some sort um but anyways i babbled on too much so thank you everyone for watching stay safe have fun talk to you next time bye